Hey guys, it's Nina B. Welcome back to the channel. Today is day three vlogmas. <laughs> I got on my Christmas um, ugly sweatshirt. I had this for like at least two years now. It says Merry Christmas with all the little tassels and the furry balls. So I put this on for today's video. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Christmas wish list. I know what you're thinking, Nina, you're old. What are you doing making a Christmas wish list? Hey, you gotta get it how you get it. So it is what it is. And with that being said, some people may be like, oh, well, Christmas isn't about like gifts. I'm totally in agreement with that. I like the Christmas holiday because, you know, I get to chill, I get to relax. I don't have to worry about school. I don't have to do any like studies or anything boring. I get to sit down do nothing and eat 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 and then when i show back to school they're gonna be like oh who's she she fit because i've been in the house eating cookies cinnamon buns cupcakes ice cream all that so that's my favorite part of christmas watching the movies sitting relaxing and doing nothing and having absolutely no assignments to worry about but with that being said i'm going to share with you guys my christmas wish list so let's get started the first thing on my Christmas wish list is a, I'm gonna be putting pictures on the screen, a long sleeve Jameis Winston shirt. Okay, you guys, I have not talked about this much on my channel, but I am a Jameis Winston fiend. Okay, I've been a fan of him since he's, it's 2013, since he stepped foot on Florida State, no, at Florida State. And not only am I in love with his football abilities, but just who he is as a person, how he carries himself, how, how he fights through adversity, everything about him, I'm a stand by him, okay? This is not the first Jameis Winston merch that I do have. I already have a hoodie, but I um, had that hoodie since seventh, seventh grade. I still wear it, but you know, it's kind of fading. I need something more new. And hold on, I'm thirsty. So I need something more new and updated and I still follow him on Instagram and he's been dropping new merch. So, you know, I pop, you know, I sprinkled that on my little wish list. All right, the next thing on my Christmas wish list is a orange, it's called Orange Push Pop. Yeah, it's an orange push pop perfume. It's supposed to basically smell like uh, orange sherbet or like orange and cream like that. A orange cream sickle that's what it's supposed to smell like okay i want that because i have orange vanilla twist from bath and body works and i have nothing to pair it up with and i feel like the orange vanilla twist from bath and body works and the orange push pop i'm gonna be smelling like orange creamy ice cream and that's what i want now if you watch my last vlog i did recently pick up this perfume here from tj maxx focus um this is the good sense frosted vanilla perfume and i wore this with another scent to just to make it a little bit more creamy and this did the job you know that orange push pop would really really pair perfectly with orange vanilla twist from Bath and body works next thing on my christmas wish list is a strawberries and cream perfume roller ball. I have strawberry snowflakes from Bath and Body Works. Let me show you guys something really quick. I have orange, no, strawberry snowflakes from Bath and Body Works. And basically the notes are juicy, juicy strawberry whipped cream and ice bergamot. This literally smells just like strawberries and cream. But the thing that I have with this is it does not last. Okay. I pair it up with my Sol de Janeiro Rosa 68. Okay, that's what I paired up with. But even then, like this scent does not hold its own. It does not last. And when I'm out and about, I get mad when I can't smell myself because this is super light. Like I have to reapply this like three times a day. Okay, like I'll carry this in my backpack. I'll spray myself down before class. Basically, I've had this for a week in like three days and you guys look at how much i've used it's down here right here and i've only had it for a week that's how much i've been using because 
it does not last at all. So for that reason, I want to mix it up with the strawberries and cream perfume rollerball because I feel like those two together is really going to gel well and just make it smell more stronger, like a more of a stronger strawberries and cream scent. Love the smell, but the lasting power and the intensity is not there for me. You guys, I'm a little weird. Don't mind my nails. Ugh. Okay, I'm a little weird. So these next two items, I'm sorry y'all. I asked for black Sharpie wax melts. Okay, I, hi, my name is Nina. Um, I have a problem. I love the smell of black Sharpie. Notice that I'm saying black, okay? The orange, the yellow, the green, the purple, none of those touch the black marker. The black marker smells the best. I just love the smell of black Sharpies. So I've been doing some research. I've been on Etsy trying to find like the perfect candle or wax melt that smells like black sharpie and i found this website because the reviews on etsy they was like this does not smell like sharpie this does not smell like a permanent marker this other website got them reviews hidden so it's making me think that this black sharpie wax melt is going to smell absolutely amazing i don't just sniff them for fun it's just like if i'm writing something with a sharpie and that aroma just hits your nose. It smells amazing. I love it. And if it wasn't just so bad, I could just sit there and smell them. But I'm not going to do that because it's not good. Next thing on my list is burnt tire rubber wax melts. Yes. Uh, I love the smell of a fresh, like, new tire, like a tire store, a fresh brand new tire. I, again, I was online searching, trying to find the perfect new tire scent in a candle or wax melt or anything found a couple on etsy uh i tried one out it, it wasn't hidden it did not satisfy me the same website from the black sharpie they also have the burnt tire one and they have pretty good reviews on that so yeah my room is gonna be smelling like a tire factory like burnt tires peeling out on a racetrack just burnt rubber just smells amazing to me like Burnt rubber and fresh tire rubber it smells amazing. The next thing that's actually normal on my list is the Sweet Tooth perfume. And hearing a bunch, of, a bunch of talks about it, I was completely unaware of it honestly until I somehow I stumbled upon it on YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. They're reading the notes off of the perfume, saying that it's a very sweet, sugary, vanilla, caramel, not caramel, what? Just a very sweet overall fragrance and I love anything sweet. So I put that on my list and it's a very affordable gift. A Juicy Couture purse. In my Orlando vlog, I bought a Juicy Couture purse. Let me show y'all. Just in case y'all didn't watch that video, which a whole lot of y'all didn't. This is the Juicy Couture purse that I got from Orlando. Super cute. It's like my first real big girl type of bag. I have a lot of small purses and I always get frustrated when I'm out and about because I'm like, dang, I can't fit this in there. I can't fit that. Like my purse be like finna bust. So that's like my first big girl bag. Now I'm kind of hooked on them and I've been looking and the I found this Juicy Couture a black and white Sherpa on the sides and Sherpa on the Juicy logo. That is so cute to me. It's going to match everything. The next purse that I put on my list is another Juicy Couture purse. Surprise, surprise. Like I said, y'all, they coming back in style, okay? I think I'm kind of into Juicy Couture. Next Juicy Couture purse is this another like handbag. It has a pink stripe on it. Yeah, and my favorite color is pink. I know like my walls are purple, but surprise, surprise, my walls, we painted them pink. And you know, as I got mature, grew up, I was like, I want a different color, so I went with lavender purple. So that's why my room is purple, but deep down, I still love my pink. Okay. The last item on my Christmas wish list is basically the same Juicy Couture purse, but in black, it has a black stripe. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my Vlogmas Day 3, my Christmas wish list. Um, let me know what you guys would like for Christmas. And you know, again, Christmas is not about materialistic things. If you don't have any, if you don't receive any tangible materialistic gifts, just know your gift is waking up in the morning. Your gift is taking your next breath. Your gift is a meal on your table.
clothes on your back, shoes on your feet. Your gift is your family, your friends. You ain't got none of that. That is perfectly okay. You got Jesus. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.